Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone. My name is Pratana, and welcome to Thai Weekly Words. So for this week, we'll be talking about being sick. ไม่สบาย in Thai. <laughs> the first word is การติดเชื้อ infection. Not very nice. So การติดเชื้อ is a noun, right? But we usually use this word ติดเชื้อ as a word more often in um, daily life. เขามีแผลติดเชื้อจนต้องไปหาหมอ He has a wound with an infection, so he has to go see a doctor. The next word is what a cold. This is a, a common word, so you should be learning this. For a sample sentence, เขาเป็นหวัดเลยไปโรงเรียนไม่ได้ He has a cold, so he cannot go to school. The next word is โรคภูมิแพ้ allergy. Yeah, we say it as a verb. คนที่เป็นโรคภูมิแพ้ควรไปพบแพทย์ People with allergy should go see a doctor. Well, actually, um, we have another word in Thai that. We um, use a lot to mean allergy, like seafood allergy, which um, a lot of people in Thailand have it. So we just say "pae," which is the same word as loss. เขาแพ้อาหารทะเลเลยกินกุ้งไม่ได้ He has seafood allergy, so he cannot eat shrimps. Sad. <laughs> the next word is โรคหืดหอบ Asthma. ฉันมีเพื่อนเป็นโรคหืดหอบต้องพกยาตลอดเวลา I have a friend who has asthma, and she has to carry medicine with her all the time, and that's true story. So the next word is ไข้หวัดใหญ่ influenza. เมื่อปีที่แล้วฉันเป็นไข้หวัดใหญ่จนต้องนอนโรงพยาบาล Last year I had influenza, so I had to get hospitalized. That was not true though. <laughs> and the end. So that was all for this week. We learned the words about. Being sick, my s a b a i And if you have any comments on it, any questions, please let us know. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Pratana, and we'll be doing Thai weekly words today. So in this program, we'll be learning a few Thai words every week. This week, we'll be learning about computer words. คำศัพท์คอมพิวเตอร์คอมพิวเตอร์พกพา Laptop computer. We just say laptop or notebook to mean laptop computer or notebook computer. We don't usually say computer p o k p a Computer p o k p a r u n n i n a m n a k b a m a k This laptop computer is really light. The next word is n a j o monitor. Computer เครื่องนี้เสียแล้วหน้าจอเปิดไม่ติด This computer is broken. The monitor doesn't turn on. That's bad news. Mouse or mouse. อยากได้เมาส์ไร้สายไว้ใช้กับโน้ตบุ๊ก I want a wireless mouse to use with my notebook computer. The next word is pen p i m or keyboard. Or you can just say keyboard to mean the same thing. Pen p i m อันนี้เสียงดังหนวกหู This keyboard is noisy. The next word is microphone or microphone. We usually shorten this word to just my. So sample sentence is: เขาร้องเพลงไม่เพราะแต่อยากได้ไมโครโฟนแพง It's not good at singing, but he wants an expensive microphone. And that's the end for today. Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any question, just leave it down below, and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Thai Weekly Words with me, Pratana, and today we'll be learning about bugs and insects. m a l a n g in Thai. The first word we shall say is p u n g B. สมัยเด็กฉันกลัวพึ่งมาก Which means when I was young, I used to be scared of bees. The next word is m o t or ant. ในห้องครัวมีมดเต็มไปหมด There are ants everywhere in the kitchen, and that's scary. The next word is นอนผีเสื้อ or caterpillar. นอนผีเสื้อตัวนี้กำลังจะกลายเป็นผีเสื้อ This caterpillar is transforming into a butterfly. 
The next word is Malang Sap or cockroach. This is the worst insect of all. Mi Malang Sap go yu bon pedan. There's a cockroach on the ceiling. The next word is yung or mosquito. In Thailand, there are a lot of mosquitoes because the weather is warm and everything. When it gets dark, and they will all come out a lot. Ton yen yen, kuan rawang yung kat. You should be careful not to get mosquito bites in the evening. And that's all for today, Thai weekly words. We'll see you again next time. If you have any comments or any questions, just let us know. Thank you, and see you again next time. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words. My name is Pratana, and today we'll be learning clothing action. กิจกรรมเกี่ยวกับเสื้อผ้าตัดกัน or to clash. เขาชอบสวมเสื้อกับกางเกงสีตัดกัน He likes to wear a shirt and trousers that Clashes in color. The next word is t a u g h t or to take off. Sample sentences: ก่อนเข้าบ้านต้องถอดรองเท้า You have to take off your shoes before you enter the house, and that's um a Thai culture. Be sure to take off your shoes before you enter someone's house. The next word is ถักor to knit. แม่ถักผ้าพันคอให้ฉันในฤดูหนาว My mother. Knit me a scarf in the winter. Well, actually, winters in Thailand is not that cold that you actually need a knitted scarf. But well, somebody wears it just for fashion. The next word is ลองสวม or to try on. เวลาซื้อเสื้อควรลองสวมดูก่อน Before you buy a shirt, you should try it on first. The next word is เย็บ or to sew. When I was In primary school, they actually taught us to sew, but then I guess people nowadays don't sew anymore. So, คนสมัยนี้เย็บผ้าไม่ค่อยเป็นแล้ว People nowadays don't really know how to sew. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any questions or any comments, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Thank you for listening. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Pratana. And this week we'll be learning about in your wallet, ในกระเป๋าสตางค์คูปองคูปองเวลาไปศูนย์อาหารต้องใช้คูปองแทนเงินสด When you go to food carts, you have to use coupons instead of cash. I know that's inconvenient, but that's how it is in Bangkok. น้ำบัตร This is an important word for those of you who want to do business in Thailand. It is business card. เวลาไปพบลูกค้าอย่าลืมพกนามบัตร When you go out to see your clients, don't forget your business card. บัตรสมาชิก membership card. ถ้ามีบัตรสมาชิกจะได้ลด 10%. If you have a membership card, you'll get 10% discount. So that's the reason why you should have membership cards. Of shops that you go to often, บัตรเครดิต credit card. ห้างใหญ่ๆรับบัตรเครดิต Big department stores take credit cards. It's convenient to have credit cards with you when you go to department stores, and you get points too, right? เงินสด cash. Of course, this is the most important thing that you should have in your wallet, so you need to learn this word. เงินสดฉันมีเงินสดไม่พอเลยต้องไปกด ATM. I don't have enough cash, so I have to withdraw money from the ATM. ATM in Thailand is actually convenient because it opens 24 hours a day and every day. So, if you ever need to use the ATM, you can find them all around. And so, these are all the weekly words for today. If you have any comments, any question, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next weekly words. See you. Bye. Hello and welcome to Thai Weekly Words with me, Pratana. This week we'll be learning about solar system. Hmm. พระอาทิตย์ Sun. พระอาทิตย์เป็นศูนย์กลางของระบบสุริยะจักรวาล The Sun is the center of the solar system. พระจันทร์ Moon. คืนนี้พระจันทร์สวยมาก Tonight 
the moon is very beautiful. What a romantic sentence. Lok, earth, lok, ไม่ได้แบน The earth is not flat. ดาวอังคาร Mars. เขาว่ากันว่าผู้ชายมาจากดาวอังคาร They said men are from Mars and women are from Venus. ดาวเสา Saturn. ดาวเสาอยู่ไกลจากโลกมาก Saturn is very far from the Earth. I hope that's right. I know that's right. I I learned about it in primary school. So and that's the end for um, solar system word. I hope you learned something from this video, and we'll see you in the next weekly words. If you have any questions, any comments, let us know, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about medicine. ยายาชนิดนี้มีผลข้างเคียง This medicine has a side effect. ใบสั่งยา Prescription. การซื้อยาบางชนิดจำเป็นต้องใช้ใบสั่งยา To buy certain types of drug, you need prescription. But actually, in Thailand, buying medicine is Quite easy. ยาแก้หวัด cold medicine. การทานยาแก้หวัดอาจทำให้ง่วงได้ Taking cold medicine might make you feel sleepy. ยาน้ำแก้ไอ puff syrup. ยาน้ำแก้ไอยี่ห้อนี้รสชาติไม่อร่อยเลย This brand of cough syrup doesn't taste good at all. ยาปฏิชีวนะ antibiotic. การทานยาปฏิชีวนะต้องทานให้ครบตามที่หมอสั่ง If you take antibiotic medicine, you have to take the whole course as recommended by doctor. And that's <coughs> and that's the end for today's weekly word. If you have any comments, any questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next weekly word. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about hygiene actions. g o n to shave. คุณพ่อกนหนวดทุกเช้า Father shaves his beard every morning. แปรง to brush. เราควรแปรงฟันอย่างน้อยวันละสองครั้ง We should brush our teeth at least twice a day. And you can use this word with hair as well as. Teeth in the same as in English. แช่น้ำ to bathe. คนไทยไม่ค่อยนิยมแช่น้ำ Thai people don't usually bathe. The weather is really hot, so there's no need to do hot bath or or anything like that. ล้าง to wash. ควรล้างมือทุกครั้งก่อนกินข้าว You should wash your hands every time before a meal. หวี to comb. เด็กๆหวีผมก่อนไปโรงเรียน The kids comb their hair before going to school, and that's the end of weekly words. If you have any comments or any questions, any things to say, just leave it down below, and be sure to check out the next Thai weekly words. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, Prathana. And this week we'll be learning about home tools, อุปกรณ์ภายในบ้านตลับเมตร tape measure. คุณพ่อพกตลับเมตรไปด้วยเวลาไปซื้อเฟอร์นิเจอร์ Father takes his tape measure with him when he goes out to buy furniture ไขควง screwdriver ในการประกอบโต๊ะตัวนี้ต้องใช้ไขควง To assemble this table you need a screwdriver ค้อน hammer เวลาใช้ค้อนต้องระวังอย่าให้โดนมือ Um, when you use the hammer, you have to be careful not to hit yourself, and it hurts. เลื่อยสองใบมีดของเลื่อยนี้ทื่อแล้ว The blade of this saw is dull already. Okay. Um, กล่องเครื่องมือ toolbox กล่องเครื่องมือเก็บอยู่ในห้องเก็บของ The toolbox is stored in the storage room. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know, and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello, everyone. You're with Thai weekly words with me, Prathana, 
And this week we've been learning about birds. นกนกกระเรียน crane. ฉันไม่เคยเห็นนกกระเรียนมาก่อนในชีวิต I've never seen a crane in my life. I don't know where are the cranes. Not in Bangkok. Guy, chicken. Um, actually, chicken is not considered a kind of bird for Thai people. ชาวนาที่ต่างจังหวัดนิยมเลี้ยงไก่ Farmers in the countryside likes to keep chicken in their farm. นกนางนวล seagull. นกนางนวลบินอยู่ริมชายหาด There were seagulls flying above the beach. นกพิราบ pigeon. ที่ระเบียงบ้านฉันมีนกพิราบมาวางไข่ There are pigeons laying eggs at my balcony. I'm not lying. That's true story. I'm trying to get rid of them. นกยูง peacock. เด็กๆไปดูนกยูงที่สวนสัตว์ The kids went to see peacocks at the zoo. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning words about studying a language, เรียนภาษาคำกริยา verb คำว่าวิ่งเป็นคำกริยา the word to run is a verb คำนาม noun ประธานของประโยคมักเป็นคำนาม the subject of a sentence is usually a noun บทเรียน lesson บทเรียนวันนี้ยากมาก today's lesson is very difficult คำถาม question คุณครูถามคำถามกับนักเรียน The teacher asked questions to the students. อ่านออกเสียง To read aloud. การอ่านออกเสียงทำให้จำประโยคได้ To read a sentence aloud helps you remember it. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about crossing borders, k a m p r o m d a n ด่านสุลกากร customs, แถวที่ด่านสุลกากรยาวมาก the queue at the customs is so long. สัญชาติ nationality. ฉันมีสัญชาติไทย of course my nationality is Thai. หนังสือเดินทาง passport. เขาไม่สามารถขึ้นเครื่องได้เพราะหนังสือเดินทางหมดอายุ He couldn't get on the plane because his passport was expired การกักกัน Quarantine ถ้าจะเอาสัตว์เข้าประเทศต้องผ่านการกักกัน If you want to bring an animal into the country you need to go through the quarantine ไปสำแดงสัมภาระ Declaration form ก่อนจะเข้าประเทศต้องกรอกใบสำแดงสัมภาระ Before you enter the country, you have to fill out your declaration form. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. And if you have any comments or any questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about direction words. คำศัพท์เกี่ยวกับทิศทางด้านหลัง back the kid is sitting in the back seat เด็กคนนั้นนั่งอยู่ที่เบาะด้านหลังด้านหน้า front ด้านหน้าของฉันมีตึกเต็มไปหมด there are many buildings in front of me ข้างนอก outside ข้างนอกอากาศร้อนมาก outside is very hot ข้างใน inside ข้างในบ้านไม่ค่อยมีแดด There's no much sunlight inside the house ทิศตะวันออก East พระอาทิตย์ขึ้นทางทิศตะวันออก The sun rises in the east And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words If you have any comments or any questions Please be sure to let us know And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words Bye Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me ปรารถนา 
This week we'll be learning about home electronics, อุปกรณ์อิเล็กทรอนิกส์ภายในบ้านเตาอบไมโครเวฟไมโครเวฟอัลวิน That's a long word. We usually just say microwave to mean microwave oven. Microwave, สมัยนี้ทำได้หลายอย่าง Microwave ovens nowadays can do many things. เครื่องดูดฝุ่น vacuum cleaner. แม่บ้านใช้เครื่องดูดฝุ่นทำความสะอาดบ้าน The housekeeper uses the vacuum cleaner to clean the house. เครื่องซักผ้า washing machine. คุณพ่อเพิ่งซื้อเครื่องซักผ้ามาใหม่ That has just bought a new washing machine พัดลม Fan บ้านเราประหยัดไฟด้วยการเปิดพัดลมแทนเปิดแอร์ At my house we save electricity by using the fan instead of the aircon เครื่องเล่น DVD DVD player เครื่องเล่น DVD อันเก่าของเราเสียแล้ว Our old DVD player is broken, and that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any question, please let us know, and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello, and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, Pratana. This week we'll be learning about tourism, การท่องเที่ยวนักท่องเที่ยว tourist. ปีนี้มีนักท่องเที่ยวเพิ่มถึง 50%. This year, the number of tourists increased by 50%. ตั๋ว ticket. ฉันซื้อตั๋วเข้าชมคอนเสิร์ต I bought the ticket to the concert. หนังสือนำเที่ยว guidebook. ฉันไม่ชอบไปเที่ยวกับทัวร์เลยซื้อหนังสือนำเที่ยวมาอ่านเอง I don't like to travel with um a tour group, so I bought A guidebook to read by myself. รูปปั้น statue. นี่คือรูปปั้นของพระมหากษัตริย์ไทย This is a statue of a Thai king. วัด temple. ภาคเหนือของไทยมีวัดจำนวนมาก In the north of Thailand, there are many temples. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any questions, please let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Pratana. This week we'll be learning about geography. ภูมิประเทศภูเขา mountain. คุณชอบไปเที่ยวภูเขาหรือทะเลมากกว่ากัน Do you prefer to travel to the mountains or the sea? ชายหาด beach. หน้าร้อนแบบนี้เราควรไปเที่ยวชายหาด In a summer like this, we should. Go to the beach. ป่าฝน rainforest. ประเทศไทยมีป่าฝนจำนวนมาก Thailand has many rainforests. แม่น้ำ river. แม่น้ำเจ้าพระยาอยู่ไม่ไกลจากบ้านฉันเจ้าพระยา river is not far from my house. มหาสมุทร ocean. มหาสมุทรอินเดียอยู่ทางตะวันตกของประเทศไทย The Indian Ocean is on the west of Thailand, and that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any questions, please let us know, and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Thai weekly words with me, Pratana. This week we'll be learning about health concerns, ความกังวลเกี่ยวกับสุขภาพอาการไอคอฟยาตัวนี้ใช้รักษาอาการไอ This medicine is used for cough แผลไฟไหม้ burn เขามีแผลไฟไหม้เพราะว่าไปโดนเตาร้อนๆ He has a burn because he touched the hot stuff ความเจ็บปวด pain คนที่เป็นโรคนี้จะได้รับความเจ็บปวดมาก People with This disease will have a lot of pain. อาการคัน itch. อาการคันอาจเกิดจากการแพ้อาหาร The itch could come from food allergy. เป็นผื่น to have a rash. เขาเป็นผื่นที่แขนจนแดงไปหมด He has a rash on his arms that they turn red. 
And that's the end for today's Thai Weekly Words. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about study subject, Vicharian, Turakit, Business. This university is famous for its business course. รัฐศาสตร์ politics เพื่อนของฉันเรียนจบมาทางด้านรัฐศาสตร์ my friend graduated a degree on politics วิชาศิลปะ art วิชาศิลปะเป็นวิชาที่ฉันชอบที่สุด art is my favorite subject วิชาเคมี chemistry วิชาเคมีเป็นวิชาที่ยากมาก chemistry is a very difficult subject เศรษฐศาสตร์ Economics งานนี้เราต้องการรับคนที่เรียนมาทางเศรษฐศาสตร์ For this job, we want a person who studied economics And that's the end for today's Thai Weekly Words If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words Bye Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana This week, we'll be learning about life events เหตุการณ์ต่างๆในชีวิตเกิด to be born ฉันเกิดในเดือนสิงหาคม I was born in August I'm a Leo การสำเร็จการศึกษา graduation วันสำเร็จการศึกษาสำหรับคนไทยถือเป็นวันสำคัญมาก graduation day for Thailand is a very important day so you find that the graduate actually wake up at like 4 a.m. in the morning to get their makeup and hairs done to look their best on their graduation day. That's how important it is for, for Thai um, university students and graduates. ได้งาน to get a job. เขาเรียนจบปุ๊บก็ได้งานทันที. He got a job as soon as he graduated. What a lucky guy. แต่งาน to marry เจ้านายของฉันแต่งงานแล้ว my boss is married เกษียน to retire ที่เมืองไทยคนส่วนใหญ่เกษียนที่อายุ 60 in thailand most people retire when they are 60 years old and that's the end for today's thai weekly words we're happy to hear your questions or comments so if you have any, please let us know and we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. Bye! Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about at the aquarium. ที่พิพิธภัณฑ์สัตว์น้ำแมวน้ำ Seal เด็กๆรุมดูแมวน้ำกันใหญ่ The kids gather to look at the seal. แมงกระพรุน Jellyfish ไปทะเลช่วงนี้ต้องระวังแมงกระพรุน If you go to the sea at this time, you should be careful of the jellyfish ปลาโลมา Dolphin ปลาโลมาเป็นสัตว์ที่ฉลาดมาก Dolphin is a very smart animal ปลาวาน Whale ปลาวานเป็นสัตว์เลี้ยงลูกด้วยนมที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในโลก Whale is the world's biggest mammal ปลาหมึกกล้วย Squid คุณแม่ซื้อปลาหมึกกล้วยมาจากตลาดเมื่อเช้า My mom bought a squid from the market this morning And that's the end for today's Thai Weekly Words If you have any comments or questions, please let us know And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words Bye Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana This week we'll be learning about Housework งานบ้าน Shed To wipe เวลากินข้าวเสร็จแล้วเราต้องเช็ดโต๊ะ When we finish eating, we have to wipe down the table ซัก To wash ฉันซักผ้าสัปดาห์ละครั้ง I wash my clothes once a week เก็บเข้าที่ To put away แม่บอกน้องสาวให้เก็บหนังสือเข้าที่ Mom told my sister to put her books away ถู To mop เราถูพื้นหลังจากกวาดเสร็จแล้ว 
We mop the floor after we finish sweeping. ตาก to dry. มาช่วยฉันตากผ้าหน่อยได้ไหม Could you please help me hang the clothes to dry? And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, p r a t h n a This week we'll be learning about at the hotel, เตียงเดียว single bed. ขอจองห้องเตียงเดียวหนึ่งห้องค่ะ I'd like to make a reservation for a single bed room, please. เตียงคู่ double bed. เรามีเหลือแต่ห้องเตียงคู่ค่ะ We only have double bed rooms left. ไม่มีห้องว่าง No vacancy. ช่วงวันหยุดเทศกาลโรงแรมไม่มีห้องว่างเลย In the holiday season, the hotel has no vacancy at all. การให้บริการในห้องพัก Room service. Thai people just use the word room service to mean room service, like ordering food to your room and things like that. We say room service. โรงแรมนี้มีการให้บริการในห้องพักดีมาก or โรงแรมนี้มี room service ดีมาก This hotel has a very good room service การจอง reservation การจองห้องพักที่นี่สะดวกมาก It's very convenient to make a reservation here and that's the end for today's Thai weekly words If you have any comments or questions please let us know and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me ปรัชนา This week we'll be learning about in an airplane บนเครื่องบินชั้นหนึ่ง first class ตั๋วชั้นหนึ่งราคาแพงมาก first class tickets are very expensive เข็มขัดนิรภัย seat belt กรุณาสวมเข็มขัดนิรภัยตลอดเวลาที่อยู่บนเครื่อง Please put on your seat belt at all time when you are on the plane หมายเลขที่นั่ง seat number หมายเลขที่นั่งของคุณเบอร์อะไร What is your seat number? ชั้นประหยัด Economy class ฉันมีเงินพอจะบินได้แต่ชั้นประหยัด I only have enough money to fly economy class ที่นั่งริมหน้าต่าง Window seat คุณชอบที่นั่งริมหน้าต่างหรือที่นั่งริมทางเดินมากกว่ากัน Which do you prefer? Window seat or aisle seat? And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or any questions, please be sure to let us know, and we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, p r a t h n a This week we'll be learning about sports. กีฬายิมนาสติก Gymnastic. คนเล่นยิมนาสติกต้องมีกล้ามเนื้อแข็งแรงมาก People who play gymnastics need to have very strong muscles. เบสบอลเบสบอลคนไทยไม่ค่อยนิยมเล่นเบสบอลไทยพี่ปู่ don't usually play baseball And soccer is more popular it's very popular in Thailand but baseball not so much กรีฑา track and field เขาเป็นนักกีฬากรีฑา he's a track and field athlete tennis tennis พรุ่งนี้เราจะไปเล่นเทนนิสกัน Tomorrow we'll go play tennis. Badminton. Badminton. Badminton เป็นกีฬาในร่ม Badminton is an indoor sport. Basketball. Basketball. นักบาสเกตบอลส่วนใหญ่ตัวสูงทั้งนั้น Most basketball players are tall. For your information, we usually say bad as a short form of basketball. So maybe you won't hear basketball, football, football or soccer. คนไทยชอบดูฟุตบอลมาก Thai people really like watching soccer. ศิลปะการต่อสู้แบบผสมผสาน mixed martial arts. ศิลปะการต่อสู้แบบผสมผสานกำลังได้รับความนิยมมากขึ้น Mixed martial arts is getting more popular. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, p r a t h n a This week we'll be learning about currency exchange. แลกเปลี่ยนเงินตรา Euro, Euro. ประเทศในยุโรปใช้เงินสกุลยูโร 
countries in Europe use euro money ดอลลาร์สหรัฐ US dollar 1ดอลลาร์สหรัฐเท่ากับประมาณ30บาท1 US dollar equals about 30บาทแบงย่อย small bill คุณมีแบงย่อยไหมคะ Do you have small bills เงินสด cash ที่นี่เรารับแต่เงินสดค่ะ Here we only accept cash เหรียญ coin ตู้นี้ทอนเงินเป็นเหรียญเท่านั้น This machine only gives change in coins. You have to be careful because um, the SkyTrain ticket selling machine in Thailand, some of them will accept banknotes, but it will only give changes in coins. So if you're not careful, you might get hundreds of coins as changes. So don't do that. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words, and it's the end for the Thai weekly words for this season. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we'll see you again next time, sometime soon. Bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thai Holiday Works. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do the Rain Retreat. You can call this period either Rain Retreat period, or Vatsa, or Buddhist Lent. They are the same thing, but it depends on how you want to call them. The Rains Retreat is actually the three months retreat for Thai monks. Do you want to know more about this? Okay, let's begin. เทศกาลเข้าพรรษา Rains Retreat. เทศกาลเข้าพรรษามีระยะเวลาประมาณสามเดือนในช่วงหน้าฝนตั้งแต่เดือนกรกฎาคมจนถึงเดือนตุลาคม The rain retreats last for three months. In rainy season, during July until October. วันเข้าพรรษา rain entry day. วันเข้าพรรษาคือวันแรกของเทศกาลเข้าพรรษา The rain entry day is actually the first day of the rain retreat period. ฤดูฝน rainy season. เทศกาลเข้าพรรษาอยู่ในช่วงฤดูฝน The rains retreat is during the rainy season. ภิกษุ Buddhist monk ในการที่จะบวชเป็นพระภิกษุสงฆ์คนคนนั้นจะต้องอายุ20ปีหรือมากกว่า In order to be ordained as a Buddhist monk, the person has to be 20 years old or older. สามมเนน novices บุคคลที่อายุต่ำกว่า20ปียังไม่สามารถบวชเป็นพระภิกษุสงฆ์ได้แต่สามารถบวชเป็นสามมเนนได้ A person who is younger than 20 years old cannot be ordained as a monk but can be ordained as a novice We are done for today Are you able to understand most of it If you have any question or comment, please let us know, and don't forget to check out the site. Okay, bye bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Thai Holiday Words. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do j u l a l u n g o n Day. Do you know? What is j u l a l u n g o n Day? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, I'll tell you. Um, j u l a l u n g o n Day is the Memorial Day of King j u l a l u n g o n or Rama V, and it is on the 23rd of October of every year. It is also a national holiday. Now you know a bit about the day. Okay, let's begin our lesson. One p i y a m a h a r a t จุลาลงกรเดย์ฉันไม่ต้องไปทำงานในวันปียามหาราชเพราะวันปียามหาราชเป็นวันหยุดราชการ
I don't have to work on Chula Lunga one day because it is a national holiday. For Thai people, sometimes we do not call this day Wan Piya Maharat because it is pretty long, isn't it? Very long if you count Wan Piya Maharat, five syllables. That's why we always shorten this day to Wan Piya. So you can refer to this day as Wan Piya. It's easier to remember as well. Ratchakanti Ha. King Rama 5. Ratchakanti Ha. Ru. Somdet Pratunatom Klao Tao Yu Hua. Ben Kasat. Ong Ti Ha. Kong Ratawong Takri. Rama 5. Or King Jula Lungkon is actually the fifth monarch of the house of Takri. Sapaka Sha Thai The Thai Red Cross Sapaka Sha Thai Dai Thuk Ko Tang Nai Samai Rashakan Thi Ha The Thai Red Cross was established in the time of Rama V. Kan Lek Thad Abolitionism Ratchakanti Ha Ben Puri Rum Gan Lurk Tat Nai Pratet Thai. The King Rama V was the one who brought about abolitionism in Thailand. Gan Barikan Kong Rat Government Service Gan Barikan Kong Rat the Yut Tamkan Nai Wan Biyamaha Rat Propin Wan Yut Rashakan. The government service will be stopped on Jula Lungkon Day because it's a national holiday. Thank you for watching. Now we are done with Thai holiday words. Did you enjoy it? Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Jula <laughs>วันรัฐธรรมนูญ Constitution Day ในวันรัฐธรรมนูญจะมีการตกแต่งบ้านเรือนด้วยธงชาติไทยพระประรมฉายาลักษณ์และไฟประดับต่างๆ In Constitution Day in Thailand buildings are decorated with flags portraits of the king and also illuminations Yes รัฐบาล Government ในวันรัฐธรรมนูญรัฐบาลไทยพยายามที่จะส่งเสริมความเข้าใจเกี่ยวกับรัฐธรรมนูญ In Constitution Day Thai government tries to promote understanding of constitutional monarchy in Thailand ประชาธิปไตย Democracy ประเทศไทยอยู่ใต้ระบอบประชาธิปไตย Thailand is under democracy system. The democracy monument is located at the heart of Bangkok. Actually, if you happen to visit Bangkok, you should go and visit because besides the monument, you can find a lot of um, shopping centers around there. So it's quite bustling. So quite a good place to visit. Ratasat politics. ถ้าคุณอยากเรียนเกี่ยวกับการเมืองคุณต้องเข้าคณะรัฐศาสตร์ If you want to study about politics, you have to enter political science course. กฎหมาย law ไม่มีใครอยู่เหนือกฎหมาย No one is above the law. Thank you guys for watching. Have you learned anything new? I guess you have. Even me, I have learned a lot of new things. So, 
If you enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, good. Yeah, done. <laughs>
gather together to see Buddha without being summoned. JD Pagoda JD Pagoda JD มีไว้สำหรับบรรจุอธิธาตของพระพุทธเจ้าและสาวก Pagoda is for contain relics of Buddhas and his followers รัตนตรัย three jewels รัตนตรัย three jewels องค์ประกอบของพระรัตนตรัยได้แก่พระพุทธพระธรรมพระสงฆ์ The three jewels refers to three things that are first Buddha, second Buddhist teaching, and third Buddhist monks. พระสงฆ์ monks พระสงฆ์ monks ชายไทยส่วนใหญ่บวชเป็นพระสงฆ์เพื่อพ่อแม่ Thai guys usually become monks for their mother and father. Okay, we are done with today's word. Are you able to understand most of it? I know that it's a bit difficult because it's the words that related to religion and it's pretty technical, right? Even for me, I find it quite difficult to understand. However, if you have any questions, please let us know, and we will get to you later. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe our channel, and see you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, guys. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do Thai holiday words. So today we are going to do Jagri Memorial Day. Okay, let's begin. One Jagri, Jagri Memorial Day, Jagri Memorial Day, or in Thai, one Jagri, one Jagri. ตรงกับวันที่6เมษายนของทุกปี The j a g r i Memorial Day is on the 6th of April of every year. To give you more information about this day, j a g r i Memorial Day is actually the anniversary of j a g r i Dynasty. รัชกาลที่1 King Rama I. So the next word is King Rama I. รัชกาลที่1 or รอ1 So you know that Thai name is very long, and when it comes to king's name, it's even longer. So our Rama one's full name is Prabhat Somdet Prabhutayot Fajula Long Maharat. That is his full name. รัชกาลที่หนึ่งเป็นกษัตริย์ผู้ก่อตั้งราชวงศ์จักรี King Rama one is the founder of the k r i Dynasty. ขึ้นครองราช Be enthroned. ขึ้นครองราช Be enthroned. This word is only used for kings only. Even for English word, be enthroned is only used for kings, right? So the same. รัชกาลที่หนึ่งขึ้นครองราชเมื่อปีพศ2325 Our King Rama I was enthroned in the year 1782. ราชวงศ์จักรีจักรีดินาสตีราชวงศ์จักรีจักรีดินาสตีราชวงศ์จักรีคือราชวงศ์ปัจจุบันของประเทศไทยจักรีดินาสตี is the current dynasty of Thailand กรุงเทพแบงคอกกรุงเทพแบงคอกกรุงเทพเป็นเมืองหลวงลำดับที่4ของประเทศไทย Bangkok is the fourth capital city of Thailand. Before Bangkok, we have k r u n g s u k o t h a i k r u n g s i u t h y a k r u n g t h o n b u r i and then now, I think after that we moved to Bangkok, which is k r u n g t h e p Mahanakorn, or the current capital city of Thailand. And that is the end of today's Thai holiday word. Do you have fun? If you want to learn more Thai words, 
please check out our website thaipod101.com and see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Thai Holiday Words with me, Jay. Today, we are going to do Song Grand Day All Water Festival. Woo! Okay, let's begin. Tesakan Song Grand Song Grand Festival. Tesakan Song Grand Song Grand Festival. Tesakan Song Grand Jat Kun Rawang Wan Ti Sip Sam Tung Sip Ha Me Sa Yon Kong Tu Pi. Song Grand Festival is between 13 to 15 April of every year. So let me tell you more about Song Grand Festival. Actually, Song Grand Festival is considered to be the traditional Thailand's New Year before we change it to the 1st of January. During 13 to 15 April of every year, you are allowed to splash water to anyone at all on street. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of foreigners or even Thais that love this festival so much. Some foreigners just come to Thailand to participate in this festival. Kabuanhae, parade. Kabuanhae or parade. Do you like parade? So Song Grand Day is the good opportunity for you to watch Song Grand Parade. ในบางจังหวัดของประเทศไทยเช่นจังหวัดเชียงใหม่จะมีขบวนแห่ไปรอบๆเมือง In some provinces of Thailand such as Chiang Mai there will be a uh, Song Grand Parade going around the city ปืนฉีดน้ำ water gun ปืนฉีดน้ำ water gun คนไทยนิยมใช้ปืนฉีดน้ำเพื่อเล่นน้ำวันสงกราน Thai people use water guns for water fight on Song Grand Day. Actually, on Song Grand Day, um, you can use anything to splash water on other people. It doesn't need to be a water gun. I have seen people using a water hose to um, splash water <laughs> to their friends or a bucket is also all right so anything at all that you can think of Song Nam Pra Beth the Buddha statue Song Nam Pra Beth the Buddha statue Kon to buy what Pure by Tambun La Song Nam Pra Nay Wan Song Gran On Song Gran Day people go to the temple to make merit and also base the Buddha statue. Kam Oi Pon Blessing. Kam Oi Pon Blessing. Nay Wan Song Gran, Dek Dek Jarot Nam Dam Hua Puyai, La Rap Kam Oi Pon Wan Song Gran. On Song Gran Day, children will pour water over the elderly's hand and receive their blessing. And that is the end of today's Thai holiday words. Okay, if you happen to be in Thailand during 13 to 15 April, please don't forget to be a part of this awesome festival. You will love it. Okay, so if you want to learn more Thai, please visit our website, thaipod101.com and see you next time. Bye-bye. Woo! I guess. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Thai Holiday Words with me, Jay. Today, we are going to do Royal Plowing Ceremony. One Pud Mongkon. Royal Plowing Ceremony. So, what is the Royal Plowing Ceremony? It is actually the ceremony to mark the beginning of the official rice planting season in Thailand. Okay, let's begin. Cow, rice. Cow, rice. 
ข้าวเป็นอาหารหลักของคนไทย Rice is the staple food for Thais. สนามหลวงสนามหลวงสนามหลวงสนามหลวง Okay, English and Thai are the same, but I mean, those who have been t h a i l a n d maybe you have known this place. It's actually a place. It's an open field, a public square in front of the Grand Palace and Wat Prakal. So many royal ceremonies have been taking place there. I mean, if you have a chance to go to Thailand, just try to visit the place. It's pretty nice. พระราชพิธีพืชมงคลจัดขึ้นที่ท้องสนามหลวง The royal plowing ceremony is held annually at สนามหลวงไถนา plow a field ไถนา plow a field ชาวนาใช้ควายไถนา A farmer uses a water buffalo to plow a field ควาย water buffalo ควาย Water buffalo. ควายมีขนาดใหญ่กว่าวัว Water buffaloes are bigger in size than bulls. You know that in Thailand, we use water buffaloes to plow a field. But why, during the plowing ceremony, why do we use a bull instead of a water buffalo? Well, it happened that um, this royal plowing ceremony is from Hindu, like religion, like Hindu. So in Hindu, they believe that um, cows or bulls are sacred animals. That's why we choose to use bulls instead of water buffaloes. h o n Luang, royal fortune teller. h o n Luang. The Royal Fortune Teller. ในปีที่จะถึงโหนหลวงทำนายว่าจะมีฝนตกมาก In the coming year, the Royal Fortune Teller forecasts that there will be a high amount of rainfall. And that is the end of today's Thai holiday words. Have you learned anything new? At least I have. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to learn more Thai, you can visit our website thaiport101.com and see you next time. Bye bye. Hello guys, I'm Jay, and welcome to Top 25 Thai Phrases. Okay, now let's begin. สวัสดี Hello. สวัสดี Or in English, it means hello. Like you use it every day with everyone you want to use it with. And when you do it with adults, you you do like this. สวัสดี Or with friends, like สวัสดีสวัสดี Goodbye. Goodbye. We also use the same word. สวัสดี So when you're going to separate from your friends or like teacher or your parents, you can say like สวัสดีสบายดีไหม How are you? When you meet a person or meet people, anyone like random people on the street, or even like your friends, your close friends, your parents, your teachers, also say like สบายดีไหม How are you? สบายดี I'm fine. And when people Ask you back like สบายดีไหม How are you? And you want to tell them like I'm fine. You say สบายดีฉันชื่อ My name is ฉันชื่อ is My name is. You use it often, right? To introduce yourself like ฉันชื่อเจ My name is J. Is it isn't it? ใช่ Yes. ใช่ In English, it is yes. Have you studied? You want to say yes? I have. You just say ใช่ไม่ No. Or you want to say no? You say ไม่ขอโทษ Sorry. When you do something wrong and you feel very very sorry, you want to apologize to the person. You say ขอโทษ And if you do something wrong to people who are older than you, 
You can also do this and say ขอโทษ at the same time. ขอโทษขอบคุณ Thank you. And when you feel like you want to say thank you to people, you say ขอบคุณขอบคุณ Thank you. ไม่เป็นไร It's okay. ไม่เป็นไร means um it's okay like if people want to offer you something like okay do you want a, a coffee or you want tea and you said oh it's okay I don't I don't really want it you can say like ไม่เป็นไร or maybe like sometimes you like you hurt yourself and people say like are you okay you just say like no I'm fine you can just say like ไม่เป็นไร I what this one I use often what you can say what you said I I na <laughs> If you want to be polite, you said like, um, นี่คืออะไรคะ Or you want it to be rude, you said อะไร It's like same as like other languages, right? So it depends on your tone as well. ที่ไหน Where? ที่ไหนที่ไหน is where. When you want to ask for direction or like places, you you use this quite often. Like ที่ไหนเมื่อไร When? เมื่อไรเมื่อไร is like you want to ask when when are you going to school when is the lunch break you use this like เมื่อไรเมื่อไรคุณจะไปโรงเรียน means like when are you going to school ทําไม why okay why why like ทําไม yeah so it depends on your tone right and you want it to be like more of like a question you raise your tone up like ทําไมอ่ะทำไมยังไง how how ยังไงไปที่นี่ยังไงไปที่ยังไงอ่ะไปที่ยังไงคะอืม like you raise the tone up a bit คุณพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหม do you speak English คุณพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหม remember to raise the tone up at the end when it is a question กี่โมงแล้ว what time is it what time is it กี่โมงแล้วกี่โมงแล้วตอนนี้กี่โมงแล้วไปกดทำที่สุดนะอยู่ที่ไหน Where is อยู่ที่ไหน Where is it like Where are you now คุณอยู่ที่ไหนตอนนี้ไปยังไง How do you go to If you want to ask How do you get to the train station in Thai you might ask จะไปสายรถไฟยังไงคะจะไปสถานีรถไฟยังไงครับอะไรนะ I beg your pardon Actually this is more of like what right I mean but in a more polite way to say what you said I beg your pardon If you remember อะไร means what so you just put the word นะ to make the sentence softer like อะไรนะอะไรนะ for example ยินดีที่ได้รู้จัก Nice to meet you ยินดีที่ได้รู้จักนะคะยินดีที่ได้รู้จักครับ like nice to meet you เท่าไร how much this one is my favorite <laughs> because I go shopping quite often so I use this one quite often as well เท่าไรเท่าไร is how much this product this goods this clothes you use this word like เท่าไรอันนี้เท่าไร meaning how much is this ลดหน่อยได้ไหม Can you lower the price? ลดหน่อยได้ไหมลดหน่อยได้ไหม Meaning, can you lower the price? If you go to Thailand, you have to use this one definitely. ลดหน่อยได้ไหมคะ Make it a bit cuter. You probably will lower the price for you for sure. Believe me. ฉันคิดถึงคุณ I miss you. I always say these words to my friends <laughs> and um. Like to like your family, like to everyone. Like, okay, so in Thai you say, ฉันคิดถึงคุณ For guys, you say, ผมคิดถึงคุณ I miss you. Nice, huh? Then we meet again. See you later. So when you are going with friends and you just like going to separate them, like going home, or somebody is like, เจอกันนะแล้วเจอกันเจอกันนะคะแล้วเจอกันนะคะ Thank you, you guys, for watching. What is your very first so far? Okay. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe the channel, and see you guys soon. Bye bye.
Hello, everyone. Welcome to Top 25 Thai Verbs. By go, go, like you go somewhere. Chan bai rong rian. I go to school. Gin, eat. So you can use it with everything at all. And sometimes we use it with water too. Like in English, you use drink. You drink like water. You drink juices. But in Thai, you can say gin for water as well. Like chan gin nam. Like I drink water. Like chan gin khao. Actually, I love this word a lot because like I eat a lot and I love Thai food. My favorite is <laughs> Tom Yam Kung. I think everyone knows about this dish anyway. Like it's famous worldwide, I guess. Thai herbs and shims and I don't know, it's like spicy soup in Thai. So yeah, you should try. Doom. Drink. Doom is more like more grammatically correct. But like speaking wise, you can use both. Like doom, doom beer, I drink beer. Doom nam, I drink water. Doom anything. <laughs> fang, listen. Listen. Fang dan ti, I listen to music. Chan fang with you, I listen to a radio. Put, speak. For example, you want to say like, I can't speak Thai. Chan put pasa Thai pen. Like talk, you also can use this word like ฉันพูดคุยกับเพื่อน I talk with my friends. Yeah, you can use this word with many circumstances. An, read. For me, I don't really like reading that much. I mean, like I read, like I read textbooks because I need to. But then, like everyone needs to read textbook, right? But then, like normally, I don't really read nowadays. เขียน write. เขียน like you write a letter, คุณเขียนหนังสือ you write something. Non sleep. Oh, this is my favorite, my favorite activity among all. Sleep. Non like you sleep, you non like I love to sleep the most. Like you can use this word for taking a nap as well. Like a nap or like sleep at night. You just say like. Non, nang, sit, sit, sit is nang like you're sitting. Chan nang like you're sitting on a chair. Chan nang bon kau i. Yun, stand. We have sit. You have stand. Like okay, standing up. Yun kun, tham, do. Okay, you do homework. Chan tham kan ba like I do some work. Like ฉันทำงาน like I work. เดิน walk work. เดิน like you walk along the street. ฉันเดินบนถนน Yeah, walking. Like for me, I I hate walking under the sun. I don't know why I'm telling this. Yeah. อยาก want you want something. You use this word often. In English, it might sound a bit rude. Like if you are saying like. Oh, I want this. I want that. Okay, I want water. But in Thai, it's a normal word. You use it very often. Like I want to drink water. ฉันอยากดื่มน้ำ Anything that you feel like wanting to do. เปิด Open. เปิดฉันเปิดประตูฉันเปิดประตู means um I open a door. It can also mean turn on. Like turn on the light. ฉันเปิดไฟ We can use it that way as well. ปิด Close. So you have opened. And now you have closed. So close in Thai means ปิด Like ปิด You close the window. ฉันปิดหน้าต่าง You close the door. ฉันปิดประตู Or it's like you know you turn off the light. <laughs> This is the light. หาย Be lost. In Thai, you said like "chan tham khong hai," like I really lost something. I can't find it. If you are too, then you use this word often, like me. So yeah. Tham, ask. "Chan yak tham kun," meaning in English, um, I want to ask you something, like that. So do you want to ask me something? <laughs> I guess not. Rak, love, love. 
Rag. I love this word. I like this word a lot because I use it often to my friends, to my family, to my dog, my puppy. You know. So when you want to say like I love you, you say like ฉันรักคุณ So if you're a girl, you want to be cuter. You say like รักนะฉันรักคุณนะ And for guys, you want to say back to the girl. You said ผมรักคุณครับ That's for guys. Girls will love that if you say that to. Her. Kai, so I sell stuff on the street. Um, ฉันขายของบนถนน If you want to ask people, are you selling this? คุณขายอันนี้ไหม Like if you want to buy this, shop. Like I like sushi. I will say, ฉันชอบกินซูชิ You can use this word to anything that you like. เกลียด Hate. I hate hot weather. Ironically, I'm, yes, I'm from Thailand. But I hate hot weather so much. Now I'm sweating like g r e a t hate the heat. Okay, like you hate hot weather, you say ฉันเกลียดอากาศร้อนฉันเกลียดอากาศร้อน Hate, เกลียด Do, watch. ฉันดูหนัง You watch movie. You watch TV. Like ฉันดูทีวี Like watch. ซื้อ Buy, like if you like shopping like me, you use this word very, very often. ฉันชอบซื้อของ I like to buy things. I would recommend you to go to um, MBK. It is in the center of Bangkok. It's very famous shopping place for foreigners. You should visit that. Though I love that, like there are a lot of stuff there, and it's cheap. w a t r o o p draw. Drawing in Thai, we say, w a t r o o p w a t r o o p w a t is the verb, but r o o p means like pictures. For me, I love drawing. That's my hobby. I would say like, I like drawing. ฉันชอบวาดรูป or I draw often. ฉันวาดรูปบ่อย Yeah. So what's your hobby anyway? Then, dance. I like dancing. You can say, ฉันชอบเต้น Any types of dancing, you can use this word like Thai dancing. Does it look like Thai dancing? It's done for today. Thank you for listening. Okay, so what is your favorite activity so far? What's your favorite word? Like for me, I love drawing, as I told before. ฉันชอบวาดรูป But if you're going to Thailand, you might love to go buying something, ซื้อของ or you know like. Walking along the street, like d u n ตามถนน something like that. So, what is your favorite activities? Okay, so we are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, and today we are going to do top 25 Thai nouns. Let's begin. ห้องน้ำ toilet. You always want to go to toilet, right? I mean, yeah. So it's very useful word. Like, where is the toilet? You just ask. ห้องน้ำอยู่ไหนคะ for girls and ห้องน้ำอยู่ไหนครับ for guys. Taxi, taxi. See, like the same word, just like different accent. And if you go to Bangkok, you can find a lot of taxi. Like taxi in Thailand, is everywhere and it's very cheap. สนามบิน airport. Bin actually means flying. So if you remember that, like เครื่องบิน is airplane, and สนามบิน is airport. รถเมล์ bus. In Thailand, we have a lot of buses, but some are not air c o n t So, like for me, I don't like taking bus in Thailand. It's very hot. ป้ายรถเมล์ bus stop. ป้ายแอคชั่นลี่มีนส์บอร์ดหรือ like sign board. So when you combine both word together, it becomes ป้ายรถเมล์ bus stop. ป้ายรถเมล์อยู่ที่ไหน Where is the bus stop? ตุกตุก motor rickshaw taxi. 
I think if you want to visit Thailand, you want to try this one out. Tuk tuk, cute, isn't it? The sound. Tuk tuk. It's like a three wheel taxi. Song tail, truck, taxi. It's not truck and taxi. It's actually the taxi that looks like a truck. You don't normally see it nowadays. It's very convenient though. Road fly, train. If you have noticed so far, we have the word road in front of every word. The word road actually means vehicle or car. So when you put that like in front, we know that we are you are talking about some vehicle. ฉันเดินทางโดยรถไฟ I travel by train. เรือ boat. Strange as it sounds, but we do travel by boat. In Bangkok, yes, we do. It's one of the transportation, popular transportation in Bangkok because Bangkok is divided by a big river called Chao Phraya. So sometimes we have to cross the river. So if you want to say, "I travel by boat," you can say, "ฉันเดินทางโดยเรือ Motorcycle. Motorcycle. You see a lot of motorcycles in Thailand. There are a lot. It's very really a lot. That's why sometimes when you cross the road, it's a bit dangerous because like you might bump into some motorcycles there. I ride a motorcycle. In Thai, you can say, ฉันขับรถมอเตอร์ไซค์สามี husband. We used it in writing, speaking sometimes in a formal situations. So normally, like in Thailand, if you want to refer to your boyfriend. Girlfriend, husband, or wife. You just say fan. Like, นี่คือแฟนของฉัน People that you are in relationship with. อาหาร Food. อันนี้อาหารอะไรอันนี้ This is อาหาร Food. อะไร What? What kind of food is this? Or maybe you want to ask if this food is spicy. อาหารนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this food spicy? เครื่องดื่ม Drink. เครื่องดื่ม means drink. If you want to say I want to order a drink, you can say ฉันอยากสั่งเครื่องดื่ม So my favorite Thai drink so far is Thai iced tea. Have you tried it? You should, you know, because it's one of the best. น้ำ Water. If you want to say I want to drink water, which you have to say quite often if you are going to Thailand because it's very hot. ฉันอยากดื่มน้ำฉันอยากดื่มน้ำ I want to drink water. ห้าง department store. If you want to say, I want to go shopping at a department store, you can say, ฉันอยากไปช้อปปิ้งที่ห้าง I always go to a department store because, like, there's a free icon there. <laughs> John, thief. So, for example, your mobile phone got stolen, and you want to explain that your mobile phone got stolen by a thief. You can say, มือถือของฉันโดนโจรขโมยไป My phone got stolen by a thief. ตำรวจ Police. So when we have a thief, we have a police. The sentence, "I want to call police" in Thai is, "ฉันอยากโทรหาตำรวจ I want to call a police. And if you want to call police in Thailand, you just dial this number one nine one. โรงแรม hotel. I want to reserve a room at the hotel. You can say. ฉันอยากจองห้องที่โรงแรมฉันอยากจองห้องที่โรงแรมบ้าน home บ้าน home or house me I'm living with my family in a house yeah, I don't know what to talk about like there's nothing to talk about house <laughs> ครอบครัว family a normal typical traditional Thai families they live like ten people in a house like Grandparents, parents, kids. ครอบครัวของฉันมีสี่คน There are four people in my family. พ่อ father, 
father in Thai is pa. So if you want to make it more polite or more formal, like when you're writing or like you want to address someone's father in a polite way, you say Kun pa, ma, mother, Kun ma. You put the word Kun in front of the word pa and ma to make it it sounds more polite. Kun ma ของคุณชื่ออะไร What is your mother's name? You see, in the net. So, yeah. Look, daughter or son. So, if you want to say daughter, you can say look sao. Sao means like female, and for son, you can say look shy, like male. So, look means kids, like your kids. Daughter look sao, and son look shy. P. Older brother or sister. So if you want to be specific, you want to say that this is my older brother. You say p i c h a i p i c h a i and um, older sister. You say p i s a o p i s a o For example, like me, I'm J, and if I'm older than you, regardless that I'm your family member or not, you call the person p i j p i j To give respect to the person that the person is older than you. n o n g younger brother or sister. If you want to refer to younger brother, it is n o n g shy and younger sister n o n g s a o If you find someone that's younger than you, you say n o n g n o n g So if you're older than me, and I'm J, right? You call me n o n g J. It's kind of give like this cute like feeling of Adorable, like the person. Like you saying this to me, I will feel like, oh, you're yeah, very nice saying this. Done. Okay, we are done for today. Thank you for watching me today. We have done top 25 t h a i nouns. Can you remember them all? It's okay if you don't. But please don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye. Yay. Oh, right, right, right. Hello everyone, I'm Jay, and today we are going to do top 25 Thai adjectives. So let's begin. s i left, left. This is my left. I think it's your right. If you want to turn left, you say, ฉันอยากเลี้ยวซ้าย Or let's turn left. เลี้ยวซ้ายกันเถอะขวา right. We have left, so we have right. My right hand. มือขวาของฉัน So if you want to turn right, you say, ฉันอยากเลี้ยวขวาฉันอยากเลี้ยวขวา D, good, you're a good person. คุณเป็นคนดีคุณเป็นคนดี Or this mobile phone is good. มือถือเครื่องนี้ดีนะ Today's weather is good. So วันนี้อากาศดี This is very useful word and very easy. Yeah. Bad. This water tastes bad. น้ำขวดนี้รสชาติแย่น้ำขวดนี้รสชาติแย่ This is bad. ร้อน Hot. ร้อน Can you guess? ร้อนฉันรู้สึกร้อน I feel hot. Not hot like hot, but like hot. เย็น Cold. Yen mean cold, like when you touch something, and it's cold. You say yen, but when you feel cold, like oh my gosh, like oh it's snowing and I feel cold. You don't say like ฉันรู้สึกเย็น You say ฉันรู้สึกหนาว like you know like too cold. You said หนาวเย็น when you say like oh today today's weather is a bit like windy. Like chill, you can like chillax outside. Like this kind of feeling, like good feeling, good weather. You say yen, but if it's too cold, you say now. So don't use it wrong. s o i beautiful. So if you want to tell like your friend, like oh you are beautiful, you say คุณเป็นคนสวยคุณเป็นคนสวยน่าเกลียดอากลีย You have beautiful, then you have ugly. 
So I go is nagaliat. Like you don't have to use it to like people to a person. Like you can use it with things as well. Like if I don't like this shirt, I would say, เสื้อตัวนี้น่าเกลียด This shirt looks ugly. Pet, spicy. Thai food is spicy. อาหารไทย Pet. If I have to choose, I love tom yum gung. Even though it's spicy, but it tastes very good. I always tell them like, please don't make it too spicy. So in Thai, I would tell the owner or the chef like, อย่าทำให้มันเผ็ดมากได้ไหมคะ Please don't make it too spicy for me. For that sentence, if you want to shorten it, you can say, ขอไม่เผ็ดมากขอไม่เผ็ดมาก My means not so. ขอไม่เผ็ดมาก means like less spicy, like less spicy. อร่อย tasty. Do you think Thai food is tasty? Thai people might ask you. คุณคิดว่าอาหารไทยอร่อยไหม And if you think it is tasty or delicious, you would say อร่อย Just tasty is fine. Like อร่อยถูก cheap. Thailand is famous for the cheap stuff everywhere, isn't? <laughs> This is so cheap. อันนี้ถูกมาก Pang expensive. So you say like, อันนี้แพงไปอันนี้แพงไป This is too expensive. มาก Very. แพงแพงมาก Very expensive. ถูกมาก Very cheap. สวยมาก Very beautiful. ดีใจ happy. Happy. ดีใจดีใจ yay. Oh, I feel happy. Like ดีใจ just like ดีใจอะ naturally like ดีใจอะดีใจจังเลย like that. เสียใจ sad. We have the word ใจ at the end. ใจ means heart. Like heart. Just remember when you hear the word with like this word ใจ they refer to some kind of feeling. So okay, back to the topic. เสียใจ means sad. I feel sad. ฉันเสียใจ or ฉันรู้สึกเสียใจใหญ่ big, big, huge, large. This room is big. ห้องนี้ใหญ่ห้องนี้ใหญ่ leg small. In Thai, you know what? It's quite easy because, like, even though like, in English you use different words for different circumstances or situations, in Thai we only have like one or two words to describe one thing. So, like, can mean like tiny, small, little. This bottle of water is small. น้ำขวดนี้เล็กเหมือน same. This one is the same as this one. In Thai, you say, a n i this is, เหมือนกับอันนี้ This is the same as this one. a n i เหมือนกับอันนี้ This one is not the same as this one. a n i ไม่เหมือนกับอันนี้อันนี้ไม่เหมือนกับอันนี้สำคัญ important. Like now, today that we are recording this. Today is v i s a k a b u s h a Day, which is one of the most important religious day in Thailand. It's an important day in Buddhism. So you want to say that today is an important day. We say, วันนี้เป็นวันสำคัญ r e a l fast. For example, like now you are listening to this, and you think that um, I'm talking too fast. And it's hard to understand. Like I'm talking too fast, and I, you want me to slow down. You say, k u n p u t r e a i k u n p u t r e a i You talk too fast. Cha, slow. p u t cha cha, หน่อยได้ไหม p u t cha cha, หน่อยได้ไหม Please speak more slowly. So now I'm trying to speak more slowly for you. สะอาด clean. สะอาดอันนี้สะอาด This is clean. ห้องนี้สะอาด This room is clean. สกปรก Dirty. I don't like wearing dirty clothes. ฉันไม่ชอบใส่เสื้อสกปรกฉันไม่ชอบใส่เสื้อสกปรกน่ารัก Cute. You are cute. คุณน่ารักเสื้อตัวนี้น่ารักไหม Is this shirt cute? Something like this. Cute. น่ารักง่าย 
อีสิคุณคิดว่าบทเรียนนี้ง่ายไหม Do you think this lesson is easy? Do you think it's easy? Just say, บทเรียนนี้ง่าย or just like easy, ง่ายอันนี้ง่าย I hope that it helps. Thank you for listening. Today we have done um, top 25 Thai adjectives. So yeah, please practice it at home, and don't forget to subscribe our channel as always. Okay, stay tuned. Bye. I always use this water bottle. Yay! Done. We are going to do top 15 Thai words chosen by fans. Let's begin. กรุงเทพ Bangkok, k r u n g t e p which literally means a city of gods, but the real name of Bangkok is actually the longest capital city's name in the world. You ready? Okay. k r u n g t e p Mahanakorn, Amon Ratanakosin, Mahin Thara Yutthayam Mahadilok, Pop Noparat Rachatani Buri Rom Udom r a c h n i v e t Mahasathan Amon Piman Awatan Satit Sakatatiya Visanukam Prasit. Okay, I did it. Okay, that's the whole name. Long, isn't it? Khop Kun, thank you. Khop Kun means thank you. Khop Kun Ka for girls and Khop Kun Krab for guys. But like for People who are younger than you, or someone that you feel close to, like your close friends, you might as well say k o p j a i It's a less formal word for k o p k u n k o p j a i k o t o d I'm sorry. For the word k o t o d we have two meanings. First is sorry, and the second one is excuse me. You want to call someone like excuse me? You can say k o t o d ka, something like that. a r i what? When people talk too fast and I don't really follow what they're talking about, I would say like what, what. So in Thai you say, a l a i a l a i na, a l a i a a l a i na. So it's like what. Jing, true. Jing means true or really. When they say something and you want to ask them, really? Is it like that? Really? You can say, Jing r o Jing a, Jing r o ka. Something like this. Bye, bye, bye. Like bye bye. In Thai, we also say bye. Like bye, bye. Actually, it comes from English word. So yeah, <laughs> it doesn't use in a formal situations. Normally, we would say la con. La con mean goodbye, farewell in Thai, and but it's very formal. มีความสุข happy. มีความสุข means happy. Me actually means have. ความสุข is happiness. You can say like, มีความสุขมีความสุขจังเลยรถไฟ train. รถไฟ train in English. In Thailand we have trains a lot, but it's not a popular way. I won't recommend it personally, but you can try. Because first, it's quite slow for me. Normally, when I travel, I fly. I travel by plane, not by train. But you can try. รัก love. รัก meaning love. รัก is a verb. If you want to say like love as a noun, you say it. ความรักความรัก You love the person. Like I love you. You say something like ฉันรักคุณฉันรักคุณ Chan is I, love is r a k and Kun is you. So, I love you. Chan r a k Kun. สวัสดี Hello. Normally we do this. สวัสดีค่ะ Meaning hello, but it has another meaning. Means goodbye. So you can say สวัสดี for hello or goodbye. This is another way to say goodbye, but in formal way. Like สวัสดีสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสุดยอด awesome 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 it's awesome 
you know you can say สุดยอดสุดยอดเลย don't forget to give them a thumb like สุดยอดเลยอิสระภาพ freedom อิสระภาพ means freedom if you want to say I want to have freedom you can say in Thai ฉันอยากมีอิสระภาพฉันอยากมีอิสระภาพ you can do it เคารพ respect เคารพ meaning respect you can say I respect you like in Thai you can say to her or to him ฉันเคารพคุณนะฉันเคารพคุณนะแม่ mother แม่อ๋อคุณแม่ means mother or mom a more formal word is คุณแม่แม่คุณชื่ออะไรแม่คุณชื่ออะไร what is your mom's name โรงเรียน school โรงเรียน school like do you want to go to school do you like school like คุณชอบไปโรงเรียนไหม Okay, now we are done with today's lessons. Okay, um, can you remember them all? Which is your favorite word anyway? So anyway, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Bangkok means there's no meaning. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do top 15 questions you should know. Okay, let's get started. คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหม Do you like Thai food? คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหม Do you like Thai food? <laughs> Normally, when people ask you this, do you just answer them your favorite Thai food. Like I don't know, like for me, ต้มยำกุ้งคุณชื่ออะไร What's your name? คุณชื่ออะไร You will get this a lot when you meet someone for the first time. If you want to answer to that question, you may say, ฉันชื่อฉันชื่อ Meaning, my name is or I am, and followed by your name. So my name is Jay. I would say, ฉันชื่อเจ My name is Jay. คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? You can answer by the country you are working in or the company. Yeah, คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? What did you just say? Or what did you say? I use it a lot actually <laughs> because like. When someone say something too fast or speak too fast, you can't quite get it what they are talking about or saying. You just ask them. คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? คุณมาจากที่ไหน Where are you from? คุณมาจากที่ไหน Meaning, where are you from? Where do you come from? คุณมาจากที่ไหน If you are from the states, you have to say, ฉันมาจาก I'm from. America, America, or the states. If like I'm from Thailand, I would say, ฉันมาจากประเทศไทยฉันมาจากประเทศไทย I'm from Thailand. คุณสบายดีไหม How are you? คุณสบายดีไหม How are you? And if you want to say I'm fine, you say, ฉันสบายดีฉันสบายดี I'm fine. So if you notice, we have this word "sbi di." Actually, literally, it means fine. So actually, how are you in Thai? Kun sbi di mai meaning, are you fine? Literally, it means are you fine. But you know, in English, you won't ask people like are you fine. You ask like how are you? Kun sbi di mai. Kun ayu thao rai. How old are you? Kun ayu thao rai. How old are you? Some girls they are very concerned about their age, so you have to make sure that you are close to the person enough to ask this question. So, Kun are you how old? How old are you? But if they are comfortable to tell you how old are they, they will say, "Chan are you 
my age is or I am and followed by their age. For example, I'm 18, which I'm not 18, but you know, <laughs> just for an example, if I were 18, I would say, Chan Ayu Sipat B. Chan Ayu Sipat B. I am 18 years old. Kun Asai Yu Tinai. Where do you live? Kun Asai Yu Tinai. Where do you live? This sentence has two meanings. So, where do you live or where do you stay? You see, like in English, you have live and stay, like stay for short term, right? But in Thai, we just use the same sentence, like Kun Asai Yu Tinai. So, for example, if you travel to Bangkok or Thailand and you stay at a hotel, let's say, what, ABC Hotel, you would say, Chan Yu Ti ABC Hotel. Chan Yu Ti ABC Hotel. Or hotel in Thai is Rong Ram. So, Chan Asai Yu Ti Rong Ram ABC. Or, like for me, I live in Bangkok. I would answer my friend if they ask me this question. Chan Asai Yu Ti Krung Thep. I live in Bangkok. Kun Khoi Pai Mung Thai Ru Plow. Have you been to Thailand? Kun Khoi Pai Mung Thai Ru Plow. Have you ever been to Thailand? If you want to ask the person and you are like the person is in Thailand already, you wouldn't ask them like have you gone to Thailand? You would say, Have you ever come to Thailand? So you have to change this sentence a bit from Pai to Ma. So you will say Kun Kun Khoi Ma Mung Thai Ru Plow. Kun Khoi Ma Mung Thai Ru Plow. But if Right now, you're not in Thailand, like you're in other country, but you want to ask the person if the person has ever gone to Thailand. You ask them, Kun Khoi Pai Mung Thai Ru Plow. Can you notice the difference? Kun Rian Pasa Thai Jak Thi Nai. Where did you learn Thai? Kun Rian Pasa Thai Jak Thi Nai. Where did you learn Thai? Where did you learn Thai? Of course, our website, right? Our channel. If you want to answer to this question, you want to say like, Oh, I have been learning Thai by myself. You say, Chan Rian Pasa Thai Dui Tua Eng. Chan Rian Pasa Thai Dui Tua Eng. I have been learning Thai by myself. Kun Rian Pasa Thai Manan Ke Nai Lao. How long have you been studying Thai? Kun Rian Pasa Thai Manan Ke Nai. How long have you been studying Thai? Like, how long have you been studying Thai, by the way? If you just started, it's okay. We are helping you right now. <laughs> like a year, you say, Nung B. Or like two years, you say, Song B. Like you just answer the period, like the time length that you have been studying Thai. Ni khu arai. What is this? Ni khu arai. What's this? Ni khu arai. What's this? <laughs> what else to say? Like, what's this? นี่คือมือถือของฉัน This is my mobile phone วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไหร่ When is your birthday วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไหร่ You know like เมื่อไหร่ is like when maybe it's better to use วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไหร่วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไหร่ maybe this sound a bit better My in December I don't know why I'm telling you ห้องน้ำอยู่ที่ไหน Where is the bathroom ห้องน้ำอยู่ที่ไหน Where is the bathroom? One thing about Thailand is like we have bathrooms everywhere. Of course, like we have shopping mall, but we also have like small like shops, like local shops. Even though you don't buy things from them, but if you really need to, you ask them nicely, they will let you use their bathroom. If you want to use the bathroom, rather than like asking them where's the bathroom, you might Ask them, ขอเข้าห้องน้ำหน่อยได้ไหมขอเข้าห้องน้ำหน่อยได้ไหม Meaning, can I use your toilet or can I use your bathroom? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this spicy? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this spicy? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Or like, จานนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this food spicy? Or in short, if you can't remember, you just ask, เผ็ดไหม and point at the food. เผ็ดไหม Spicy, like that. Don't forget to raise your tone up because it's a question. Okay, guys, 
Thank you for watching. Now you have already known how to ask questions in Thai. So please try to use them and practice them. Then you'll be good in no time. But for today, thank you for watching again. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Top Words with me, Jay. Today, we are going to do the 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. Okay, let's begin. Chan ma jaak pra thet thai. I'm from Thailand. Chan ma jaak pra thet thai. I'm from Thailand. I'm Jay and I'm from Thailand. Specifically from Bangkok. You can use this sentence to introduce yourself. ฉันสนุกกับการฟังเพลง I enjoy listening to music ฉันสนุกกับการฟังเพลง I enjoy listening to music What kind of genre do you like Like for me I love pop and acoustic I know not many people love acoustic like it's very niche but I loved it In Thailand we have all types of genre like there are a lot of artists in Thailand my favorite is called Stamp. Yes, it's the stamped on a letter, but that's the name of the artist. And he's very good. You should check that out. Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B. I'm 26 years old. Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B. I'm 26 years old. So Chan Ayu is I am. And then you put your H in between. And then you end with B, which is years old. So, Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B. I'm 26 years old. In Thailand, girls prefer not to tell their age. I mean, if they are young, it's fine. But if they are a bit older, then they don't feel comfortable to say that. Chan Asai Yu Nai Krung Thep. I live in Bangkok. Chan Asai Yu Nai Krung Thep. I live in Bangkok. Luckily, my place in Bangkok is in the metropolis area, so it's around the train station, so it's very convenient for me to travel around. But as you know, Bangkok is very huge, so if you live somewhere further away, then yeah, that's a problem for traveling around Bangkok. And I used to have that problem before because when I was younger, I lived quite far away from the heart of Bangkok. Chan Pen Crew. I'm a teacher. Chan Pen Crew. I'm a teacher. Chan Pen is I am and then followed by your occupation. For example, I am still a student, I would say Chan Pen Nakrian. I am a student. Chan Dairian Pasatai Manung B. I've been learning Thai for a year. Chan Dai Rian Pasa Thai Manung B. I have been learning Thai for a year. Chan Dai Rian Pasa Thai Ma. I have been learning Thai for. And then if you have been learning Thai for um two years, three years, then you just put that at the end. Shu Hong Shan Ku Jay. My name is Jay. Shu Hong Shan Ku Jay. My name is Jay. This one is pretty easy, huh? Jay is actually my nickname and I have my real name and my surname. But Thai people usually call each other by their nicknames. I mean, if you have a Thai friend, you would understand this because Thai names, a common Thai names are very long. So it's very difficult to remember. That's why we have nickname. One of my hobbies is reading. One of my hobbies is reading. I love drawing. I have my own blogs and I love writing. So that's my hobby. So what is yours? Chan Rian Pasa Thai Jak Thai Pot Nung Sun Nung dot com. I'm learning Thai at Thai Pot One O One dot com. 
ฉันเรียนภาษาไทยจาก thaipod101.com I'm learning Thai at thaipod101.com I study other languages for example Japanese and English This is a very useful website ฉันโสด I'm single ฉันโสด I'm single This one is quite funny but if you're close to the person then yeah you can use it And that is the end of today's Thai words. If you have any question, please let us know. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Jay again. So today we are going to do top 10 phrases you never want to hear. Let's go. ก็บอกแล้ว I told you so. ก็บอกแล้วใช่ปะ So it means I told you so, right? Quite scary. I know it's not polite. So when you use it, make sure that the person is very very close to you and they are willing to forgive you if you say that. Okay. ขอบคุณที่สนใจสมัครงานกับเราแต่ตำแหน่งงานเต็มแล้ว Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. Things that you expect to hear when you submit a CV or resume, right? I mean, that's disappointing. ขอโทษฉันลืม Sorry, I forgot. You can use it when you forgot something or you forgot to do something like if A person like your mother asked you to um, clean a house, and you forgot to do it. So you can say this to her, like, "ขอโทษฉันลืม or "ขอโทษผมลืม for guys. คุณถูกไล่ออก You are fired. คุณถูกไล่ออก Luckily, I have not had this experience. Luckily, so behave well. <laughs> Don't do something bad. คุณมีผมขาว You have a gray hair. It's not a good phrase that you want to hear. คุณมีผมขาวช่วงนี้อ้วนขึ้นหรือเปล่า Have you gained weight recently? ช่วงนี้อ้วนขึ้นหรือเปล่า Local ties. I mean, if you're foreigners, maybe you won't be experiencing this. But for Thai, when they meet each other, like let's say, like after a while, they meet each other again. Like they will comment about each other's appearance, like. Have you gained weight? Are you getting fatter? Or are you getting like slimmer? Like I don't know why too. But it's just the way that we, you know, say things to each other <laughs> without any bad intention. วันนี้ไม่มีตังค์ I don't have your money today. วันนี้ไม่มีตังค์ I don't encourage you to say this sentence because, like, if you borrow someone money, you need to pay them back, right? I mean, yeah, you shouldn't say it at all. You should. You know, borrow someone. Just return it as soon as possible. เธอดีเกินไป It's not you. It is me. เธอดีเกินไป You need to find excuse. So this is one perfect excuse to say. So when you hear that, you know that the person doesn't want to be with you already. Sorry if you hear that before, but yeah, at least they don't want to hurt your, you know, your feelings. So they choose this phrase. That's a good part, though. เราน่าจะลองไปเจอใครใหม่ๆดูบ้าง We should see other people. เราน่าจะลองไปเจอใครใหม่ๆดูบ้าง Not the good feeling at all. ขอยืมเงินหน่อย or ขอยืมตังหน่อย Can I borrow your money? ขอยืมตังหน่อยขอยืมตังหน่อย or ขอยืมเงินหน่อย If they are like good friends of yours, then it's fine. But you know. Someone sometimes people just want to borrow you money, but you don't want to. Okay, finish. Thank you for today. We are done. I hope that no one will say these phrases to you. Anyway, we have done ten phrases you never want to hear. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Jay, and today 
we are doing nine phrases that make you look like a fool. Let's begin. คุณไม่ค่อยฉลาดเลย You are not very smart. คุณไม่ค่อยฉลาดเลย You are not very smart. Cruel words. คุณไม่มีทางจะประสบความสำเร็จ You will never succeed. คุณไม่มีทางจะประสบความสำเร็จ Even though they said don't be discouraged by like these words, then you will succeed. That's is what I believe. ฉันถูกคุณผิด I'm right and you are wrong. Normally I don't say this, but when I get angry, I say this. Anyway, I'm right, you're wrong. ฉันถูกคุณผิดฉันรู้ทุกอย่าง I know everything. ฉันรู้ทุกอย่าง I know everything. Do you know everything? I don't think anyone will know everything. ฉันไม่จำเป็นต้องเรียนรู้อะไรอีกแล้ว I don't need to learn anything anymore. ฉันไม่จำเป็นต้องเรียนรู้อะไรอีกแล้ว I don't need to learn anything anymore. I don't think that they don't need to learn anything anymore. I think they have to learn a lot. Seriously. ฉันไม่ต้องการคำแนะนำจากคุณ I don't need your advice. ฉันไม่ต้องการคำแนะนำจากคุณ I don't need your advice. Whether the advice is good or bad, like for me, I strongly believe that you just listen to it first. If it's useful, then you make use of it. If if it doesn't, then just ignore. Like you don't have to say like I don't need your advice. That's not nice. มันยากไปอย่าคิดจะลองเลย It's too hard. Don't even try. มันยากไปอย่าคิดจะลองเลย It's too hard. Don't even try. Even though people say it, just just do it. Just ignore all the bad comments. You know. เราทําแบบนั้นไม่ได้ We can't do that. เราทําแบบนั้นไม่ได้ We can't do that. Don't say this to yourself. If you can't do it, just try to do it. We have to try if you want to do something. แค่ทําตามที่ฉันบอก Just do what I say. แค่ทําตามที่ฉันบอก Just do what I say. People who use this sentence may be a bit too bossy, so they just want people to follow what they are doing. Don't think, just do what I say. But for me, I think it's fine. Sometimes you just want to do what other people say. Okay, done. Okay, guys, we are done for today. Thank you for watching. Today we have done nine phrases that make you look like a fool. I hope you have fun today. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, and see you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Thai Words with me, Jay. Today we are going to have fun doing the ten breakup lines. Okay, let's begin. ฉันว่าเราควรหยุดเจอกันไปสักพัก I think we need a break. ฉันว่าเราควรหยุดเจอกันไปสักพัก I think we need a break. คืองี้ฉันว่าเราควรหยุดเจอกันไปสักพักนะอะไรนะฉันว่าเรารีบร้อนกันเกินไป I think we are moving too fast ฉันว่าเรารีบร้อนกันเกินไป I think we are moving too fast ขอจับมือหน่อยสิไม่เอานาหน้านิดนึงนิดนึงฉันว่าเรารีบร้อนกันเกินไปนะ I think we are moving too fast. ฉันอยากทุ่มเทให้กับงาน I need to focus on my career. ฉันอยากทุ่มเทให้กับงาน I want to focus on my career. ผมอยากทุ่มเทให้กับงานเราห่างกันสักพักนะ I need to focus on my career. So let's take a break. And this is a male version of saying, "I need to focus on my career." ผมอยากทุ่มเทให้กับงาน so we use ผม instead of ฉันฉันแค่ไม่พร้อมสำหรับความสัมพันธ์แบบนี้ I'm just not ready for this kind of relationship ฉันแค่ไม่พร้อมสำหรับความสัมพันธ์แบบนี้ I'm just not ready for this kind of relationship เข้าใจฉันหน่อยสิฉันแค่ไม่พร้อมสำหรับความสัมพันธ์แบบนี้
okay please understand me okay i'm just not ready for this kind of relationship ฉันไม่ดีพอสําหรับคุณ i'm not good enough for you ฉันไม่ดีพอสําหรับคุณ i'm not good enough for you เลิกกันเถอะ let's break up ทําไมล่ะ why ฉันรู้สึกว่าฉันไม่ดีพอสําหรับคุณอะ I feel like I'm not good enough for you. ฉันควรไปเจอใครที่ดีกว่านี้ You deserve better. เธอควรไปเจอใครที่ดีกว่านี้ You deserve better. No, that's not true. Everyone is good enough for everyone. เราก็แค่ไม่เหมาะสำหรับกันและกัน We are just not right for each other. เราก็แค่ไม่เหมาะสำหรับกันและกัน We are just not right for each other. เธอเธออย่าร้องดิอย่าร้องไห้สิทำไมต้องบอกเลิกด้วยอ่ะก็เราก็แค่ไม่เหมาะสำหรับกันและกันแค่นานน่ะอย่าร้องไห้สิ We just not right for each other Please don't cry เราควรจะลองไปเจอใครอื่นบ้าง We should start seeing other people เราควรจะลองไปเจอใครอื่นบ้าง We should start seeing other people ฉันว่าเราควรจะลองไปเจอใครอื่นบ้างนะ I think we should start seeing other people เราเป็นเพื่อนกันดีกว่า Let's just be friends เราเป็นเพื่อนกันดีกว่า Let's just be friends เราเป็นเพื่อนกันดีกว่านะ Let's just be friends ฉันก็แค่ไม่ได้รักคุณแล้ว I just don't love you anymore. ฉันก็แค่ไม่ได้รักคุณแล้ว I just don't love you anymore. Oh my god, this is so cheesy. Thank you for watching. Do you enjoy it? If you do, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Hello, guys. Welcome back. I'm Jay, and today we're going to do ten foods that will kill you faster. I think this lesson is very fun. So, if you're ready, let's begin. k a o p o d k u a microwave popcorn. It won't kill you, but if you eat a lot, then you will get fat, right? I mean, this food. I love that, you know. Popcorn. n a m a t l o m Soda. Who doesn't like soda? Come on. But I understand, like it's not good for your health. It's very unhealthful. So. I love soda. ฉันชอบน้ำอัดลมฉันชอบน้ำอัดลม Soda. บะหมี่กึ่งสำเร็จรูป Instant noodle. This is a formal word for instant noodle, but in Thai, like b a m i k u n g s a m r e t r u p is quite long. We shorten it to mama. Actually, the word mama is a brand, one of the most famous instant noodle name in Thailand. That's why we use it to refer to instant noodle. I eat instant noodles every day. ฉันกินมามาทุกวัน or formally, ฉันกินบะหมี่กึ่งสำเร็จรูปทุกวันมันฝรั่งทอดกรอบ potato chips we have ต้มยำกุ้ง flavor I love this flavor a lot like spicy and sour and salty and a bit of sweet I want to buy potato chips ฉันอยากซื้อมันฝรั่งทอดกรอบอาหารแช่แข็ง frozen food in Thailand there are a lot of people who Who don't have time to cook for themselves? Like either they don't have time or they're lazy, like me. I'm very lazy when it comes to cooking. So normally we just go and buy frozen food, all Thai food that you can name off. You can find it in the form of frozen food, like tom yam gung, green curry, um, khao man gai, like everything at all. n o i m margarine. Okay, I have never cooked. Using margarine before, so I'll give you some sentence. I eat bread with margarine. ฉันกินขนมปังกับเนยเทียมฉันกินขนมปังกับเนยเทียมเนื้อสัตว์แปรรูป 
processed meat i think it means sausage like ham those who are processed ฉันใช้เนื้อสัตว์แปรรูปในการทำอาหาร i used processed meat to cook food bacon bacon that's why i have never been thin before <laughs> i mean like every food that i like is fattening anyway bacon like um i fry bacon ฉันทอด bacon ฉันทอด bacon ทุเรียน durian it is fruit like thai food but besides the fact that it's fattening it can literally kill you if you eat it with alcohol like beer there's some chemical reaction going on inside your body and your body become like heated up and you can die i recommend you not to try eating durian with alcohol it's very dangerous nom khon wan condensed milk it's very fattening food but it's very very you know tasty in thailand we eat it with different kinds of food like drink like we pour it into milo coffee like thai milk tea we also eat it with bread and also snow cone so it's very popular in thailand but if you eat it purely it's very fattening just to warn you guys but you should try <laughs> We are done for today. Thank you guys for watching today. We have done 10 foods that will kill you faster. Um, I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you and see you next time. Cow pot crew. See, like even I'm tired, I don't know how to pronounce it. Grab, grab, grab. lesson sign up for your free lifetime account at tiepod101.com hello welcome back to top words with me jay today we are learning 10 ways to remember words okay let's begin การอ่านหนังสือเยอะๆโดยการอ่านหนังสือพิมพ์ช่วยให้ฉันจำคำศัพท์ได้ reading as much as possible especially the newspaper helps me to remember words true i mean but it doesn't have to be newspapers for me i love reading novels so by studying from reading something that you like it's a good way to learn the language and improve your reading skill ฉันจำคำศัพท์ใหม่ๆโดยโยงกับเรื่องราวเกมหรือภาพยนตร์ I associate new words with stories, games, or movies. For example, the word "glai" or "glai," the pronunciation is the same, but the intonation are different. So if you just read, you might not be able to remember how it will be used. But if you watch a movie and you see the real situation of how these words are used, then it will be easier for you to remember. ฉันพยายามคิดเป็นภาษาไทยเพื่อที่จะได้มีกระบวนการคิดเป็นภาษาไทยโดยธรรมชาติ I try to think in Thai so it becomes natural to my thought process I found out that by thinking in English is faster when I want to speak or communicate with people and it's more natural like you don't have to translate back and forth don't translate inside here it won't work. ฉันพยายามพูดกับเจ้าของภาษาให้บ่อยที่สุดเท่าที่ทำได้ I speak as often as possible with native speakers. Not many people learn Thai. So if you try to speak Thai to Thai people, I think they are more willing to talk in Thai back to you because we just love people who want to learn our language. ฉันพยายามใช้คำใหม่ๆในประโยคง่ายๆเพื่อจะได้เรียนรู้ทั้งประโยคไม่ใช่แค่คำใดคำหนึ่ง 
I try to use the new word in a simple sentence, so I learn whole phrases, not just individual words. For example, um, what what should I give an example on? Um, ฉันรักสุนัขของฉัน I love my dog. Yeah, so love is not visual, and you might not be able to remember that love in Thai is รัก by forming a sentence. Now you understand everything as a whole. ฉันพยายามใช้ภาษาที่เรียนอยู่เป็นประจำในชีวิตประจำวัน I try to use the language I'm learning routinely in the context of daily life. One way to help you use it regularly <laughs> in a daily basis is having a boyfriend, a girlfriend, using that language. For example, if you're learning Thai, try to find Thai girlfriend, Thai boyfriend. Then yeah, <laughs> it helps. ฉันพูดคำศัพท์ออกมาดังๆเพื่อให้ตัวเองได้ยิน I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. It helps with your pronunciation, intonation, speaking skill in general. So that when you read or say words or sentences out loud, you you hear what has gone wrong with your Speaking, so it's a good way to improve your speaking skill. ฉันฟังเพลงและจำเนื้อเพลง I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. There are a lot of good Thai songs for you to listen. My recommendation would be um from this singer called a uh, stamp. I don't know if you have heard. You might try to search on YouTube at stamp. In English, like stamp on the letter, yeah, stamp and Thai singer, and I think his song is pretty cool. ฉันหมั่นฝึกฝนทุกวันโดยพูดกับคนในครอบครัวหรือสุนัขที่บ้านถึงแม้ทุกคนจะฟังไม่รู้เรื่องก็ตาม I am persistent in practicing every day by talking to my family or my dogs, even though they don't understand me. Desperate to have to talk to a dog. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes I talk to my dog as well. I think I guess it's normal. จำคำศัพท์โดยใช้ flat card. Remembering words by using flash cards. I think it's pretty convenient because it's small, and on train or on a bus, you can just flip them over and remember words while you are traveling. Thank you for listening. Today we have done ten ways to remember words. So, are you able to remember every sentence I taught you so far? If you don't, then you can watch the video from the start. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ThaiPod101.com. Welcome back, everyone. Today we are going to do 15 happy words. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. มีความสุข Happy. Happy words, of course, have to begin with happy. มีความสุข So, are you happy? คุณมีความสุขไหมกระปรี้กระเปร่า energetic กระปรี้กระเปร่า energetic I know that it's difficult because you have p r o b l e m which force you to click your tongue while you are speaking like that if you can't just say กระปรี้กระเปร่า it's not hundred percent grammatically correct but people still can be able to understand what you are saying กระปรี้กระเปร่า Even I, you can see that I have some difficulty pronouncing this word. ชอบ like ชอบ like ฉันชอบเรียนหนังสือ I like studying ตลก 
funny ตลก funny you are funny คุณเป็นคนตลกตื่นเต้น excited ตื่นเต้น excited I am excited ฉันตื่นเต้นพอใจ satisfied พอใจ satisfied I'm satisfied with the result ฉันพอใจกับผลงานนี้ภูมิใจ proud ภูมิใจ proud I'm proud of you ฉันภูมิใจในตัวคุณยอดเยี่ยม great ยอดเยี่ยม great you can say just เยี่ยมรัก love รัก love the most popular sentence is of course I love you ฉันรักคุณ I love you guys สวย beautiful สวย beautiful it's a good way to compliment anyone however the tone is very important because if the tone is off it means different thing สวย is beautiful or pretty สวย means unfortunate so <laughs> Be careful of the tonation that you use. Op un, warm. Op un, warm. You are a warm person. คุณเป็นคนที่อบอุ่น However, if you want to say that this place is warm in terms of temperature wise, you don't say อบอุ่น You say อุ่น Just the last word. ที่ตรงนี้อุ่น This spot. This place. Is warm. มีความหวัง Hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'm going to pass tomorrow exam. ฉันมีความหวังว่าพรุ่งนี้ฉันจะสอบผ่านใจดี Kind. ใจดี Kind. You are a kind person. คุณเป็นคนใจดีมองโลกในแง่ดี Optimistic. มองโลกในแง่ดี Optimistic. I'm an optimistic person. ฉันเป็นคนมองโลกในแง่ดีเป็นคนยิ้มง่าย Easily to smile. เป็นคนยิ้มง่าย Easily to smile. I don't think that you have an exact word in English. If you smile often with anything, this is a word that people will. Say it to you. เธอเป็นคนยิ้มง่าย We are done with today's lesson. Please let us know if you have any question. Don't forget, as always, to subscribe our channel. Bye bye and be happy. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, guys! Welcome back. I'm Jay again, and today we are going to do ten Thai foods. Let's begin. ขนมหม้อแกงมังบีนไทยคัสเตอร์ด The first word today is ขนมหม้อแกงมังบีนไทยคัสเตอร์ด Mung bean Thai custard is very popular in p e c h b u r i province. This dessert is usually found at the beach. Tom yam gung, tom yam gung, tom yam gung, or in English, of course, it is pronounced the same. Tom yam gung. I think everyone knows this word. Tom yam gung mi rot pet. Tom yam gung. Is very spicy. น้ำปลา fish sauce. น้ำปลา fish sauce. It is food, but it is more like ingredient that we use to cook Thai food. เวลาฉันกินก๋วยเตี๋ยวฉันชอบหยอดน้ำปลา When I eat noodle, I love to add fish sauce. น้ำพริก chili paste. น้ำพริกชิลิเพส
น้ำพริก is spicy that's why we eat it with vegetables ฉันชอบกินน้ำพริกกับผัก I love to eat chili sauce with vegetables ผัดไทยผัดไทยผัดไทย or ผัดไทยถ้าจะกินผัดไทยต้องไปกินที่ประตูผี If you want to eat pad Thai, you have to go to Pratu p h i in Bangkok. If you have a chance to go to Thailand, you have to try pad Thai because it is very good. s o m t a m s o m t a m s o m t a m or in English, also s o m t a m I have heard other people calling this dish spicy salad. This dish is different from typical salad because it is used raw papaya as the main ingredients, and it is spicy and sour. Normally, we eat this with sticky rice. ฉันชอบกินส้มตำกับข้าวเหนียว I love to eat ส้มตำ with sticky rice. แกงจืดเคลียสุปแกงจืดเคลียสุปคุณแม่ของฉันชอบทำแกงจืดให้ฉันทาน My mom loves to cook clear soup for me. I have been eating this dish since I was very young because it is very good for your health. แกงเขียวหวาน Thai green curry. แกงเขียวหวาน Thai green curry. คนต่างชาติชอบกินแกงเขียวหวาน Foreigners. Love to eat Thai green curry. Roti สายไหม Roti สายไหม Roti สายไหม Or in English, Roti สายไหม as well. ตอนที่ฉันเป็นเด็กฉันชอบกิน Roti สายไหม When I was a kid, I loved to eat Roti สายไหม s a i m a is actually cotton candy. If you're lucky to find someone that sells this roti s a i m a on the street, you should try. ขนมลูกชุบ delectable imitation fruits. ลูกชุบ delectable imitation fruit. But it is not fruits. เด็กๆชอบกินขนมลูกชุบ Children love to eat ลูกชุบ It is actually Thai dessert. In shape of fruit, it is very, very good and sweet. That's why kids in Thailand love it so much. I love it too. Thank you for watching. We are done for today. Are you starting to get hungry after this lesson? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe our channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ThaiPod101.com. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone. Welcome to Thai Weekly Words. In this program, we'll be learning new Thai words every week. So I won't know which word we'll be learning today, and you won't know either. So let's do this together. And the topic of this week would be hobbies. งานอดิเรก in Thai. The first word is what. Or to draw. I'm sure everyone used to draw a lot of pictures when they were kids. ฉันชอบวาดรูป I like to draw. The second word is เต้น To dance. I'm not really a good dancer, but I'm sure um, many of you are. ไปเต้นในงานปาร์ตี้กันเถอะ Let's go dancing in the party. The next word is ท่องอินเทอร์เน็ต To surf the internet. Hmm, this is Quite popular in Thailand right now. วัยรุ่นคนไทยสมัยนี้ชอบท่องอินเทอร์เน็ต Thai teenagers nowadays like to surf the internet. For a tip, you can use l e n internet as well. The next word is สะสมสแตม to collect stamps. Well, I used to collect stamps long time ago. <laughs> okay, beautiful picture stamps. <laughs> What kind of stamps? Hmm. เด็กๆสมัยก่อนชอบสะสมสแตม In the past, children like to collect stamp. The next word is เล่นหมากรุก to play chess. So in Thailand, we do have um, a Thai chess, which is quite similar to the chess we know 
but um, the pieces are different. So if you're interested, you can learn how to play Thai chess as well. He is very good at playing Thai chess. The end. <laughs> so that's all the words we learned today in the topic of hobbies. So if you have any questions or any comments, please let us know. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. So what we'll be learning today is fruits. ผลไม้. This should be fun. The first word is กล้วย, banana. กล้วยน้ำว้าขนาดเล็กกว่ากล้วยหอมกล้วยน้ำว้า which is a kind of bananas in Thailand is smaller than กล้วยหอม which is another kind of banana that um, looks like the bananas you already know. Gluenamwa will be like this big, but um, the bananas you probably know is like around this big, right? So, and we do have many more kinds of bananas in Thailand. Go bananas! The next word is Luk strawberry. Strawberry. ภาคเหนือของไทยมีปลูกสตรอเบอรี Strawberries are grown in the northern part of Thailand because it's colder than the other parts. That's why. The next word is som, orange. แม่บอกให้ทานส้มทุกวันเพื่อป้องกันหวัด. My mom told me to eat oranges every day to prevent myself from getting a cold. The next word is tang mo, watermelon. We have a lot of them in Thailand and it's cheap too. So you should try watermelon. ฉันชอบทานแตงโมในหน้าร้อน. I like to eat watermelon in the summer. The next word is luk cherry or cherry. We don't have cherries in Thailand. We have to import them from other countries. ในเมืองไทยเชอรี่เป็นผลไม้ที่ราคาแพง. Cherries are expensive fruits in Thailand. And that's the end for today. If you have any comments or any questions, please let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome back to Thai Weekly Words. And today we'll be learning words about rooms. Hong. So the first word is krua or kitchen. This is one of my favorite rooms. คุณแม่กำลังทำกับข้าวอยู่ในครัว. Mother is cooking in the kitchen. The next word is hongnon or bedroom. Oh, this is my favorite room too. I like to sleep a lot. น้องสาวอยู่แต่ในห้องนอนทั้งวัน My sister is in her bedroom all day. The next word is ห้องนั่งเล่น or living room. มีทีวีเครื่องใหญ่อยู่ในห้องนั่งเล่น There's a big TV in the living room. The next word is ห้องน้ำ or bathroom. ห้องน้ำที่บ้านเขารู้ร้ามาก The bathroom in his house is very fancy. I like fancy bathroom. The next word is Hong Rapratan Ahan or dining room. Actually, Hong means room, right? And Rapratan Ahan means eating food. You can also say Hong Gin Kao because Gin Kao is um, eating food as well. It's less formal, but it's okay to use in daily life. So Hong Rapratan Ahan or Hong Gin Kao means dining room. ทุกคนกำลังทานอาหารอยู่ในห้องรับประทานอาหาร Everybody is eating in the dining room. And that's the end for today's Thai Weekly Words. If you have any comments or any questions, just let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai Weekly Words. See you, bye! Hello everyone, welcome back to Thai Weekly Words. Today, we'll be learning about colors, or C. In Thai. The first word is ขาว or white. นักเรียนต้องสวมถุงเท้าขาวไปโรงเรียน. Students have to wear white socks to school. And that's the rule in Thailand. The next word is fa or blue. And you might notice that this word fa is the same word to the word that means sky. So ท้องฟ้าเป็นสีฟ้า means the sky is blue. The next word is Leung or yellow. Pet pensi Leung. The ducks are yellow. The next word is Dang or red. Tong sha tai. Mi si. Dang. Kao. Let. Nam ngun. 
Thai national flags has red, white, and blue colors. The next word is kiao or green. When the light turns green, that means you can go. Okay, so um, that's the end of Thai weekly words for today. If you have any comments, any questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you again next time. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. And today you might notice that the background has changed. That's because we're not in our usual studio today, but we're in Bangkok in Thailand. Isn't that exciting? So let's see what we'll be learning this week. This week will be about months of the year or Let's get started. เดือนกรกฎาคม July เดือนกรกฎาคมในเมืองไทยมักมีฝนตกบ่อย It usually rains in July in Thailand. That's because the rainy season in Thailand usually it's from May to September or August. So during these months it will rain a lot. So please be careful if you ever come to Thailand during those months. เดือนกันยายน September ภาคการศึกษาแรกจะจบในเดือนกันยายน The first semester will end in September Many schools in Thailand start their first semester in May and the first semester will end in September and then the second semester will start in November and ends in February or March So if you want to come to study in Thailand then please be aware of this difference. เดือนกุมภาพันธ์ February วันวาเลนไทน์อยู่ในเดือนกุมภาพันธ์ Valentine's Day is in February. They will have like all the hearts and all the you know red roses decoration when it's close to Valentine's. So it usually feel like quite festive. So if you ever come to Thailand during um, February. Don't forget to go to shops or department stores to see. Okay, Dian Tula Kom, October. Children have their school break in October. I like October because it's getting a little colder in Thailand. Well, not cold, but colder. And it's the school break season as well. So, yeah, so. I like October and I bet many students in Thailand do also. เดือนมกราคมเป็นเดือนแรกของปี January is the first month of the year. It has New Year and a lot of holidays so yeah January is another good month of the year. And that's the end so that's the end for Thai weekly words for this week. Yeah, so if you have any comments or any questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye! Hello and welcome back to Thai weekly words with me, Prathana. And this week we'll be learning about wait, weather, chun, humid. Naron, akat, tangron, lachun. In the summer, the weather will be hot and humid. Ew. Fon, rain, เวลาฝนตกรถจะติด. When it rains, the traffic will get really bad. Lom, wind. วันนี้ไม่ค่อยร้อนเพราะมีลม. Today is not very hot because the wind is blowing. น้ำท่วม, flood. เมื่อสองสามปีก่อนที่เมืองไทยเกิดน้ำท่วมหนัก. A couple of years ago, there was a serious flood in Thailand. Dad. Sunny. Actually, dad means sunlight, but when it's sunny, we say dad ok. Ok means to go out or to come out. dad ok. Yesterday it rained, but today it's sunny. And that's the end for weekly word. If you have any comments, any questions, please be sure to let us know. And see you again next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. And this week we'll be learning, oh, my favorite thing, flavors. Kem, salty. Kantan ahan, kem, ma, gun, bai. 
ไม่ดีต่อสุขภาพ Eating too much salty food is not good for your health หวาน sweet เค้กชิ้นนี้หวานมาก This piece of cake is very sweet ขม bitter เด็กๆไม่ชอบอาหารรสขม Children don't like bitter food In Thai we say that once you start to like bitter food that means you get old already เผ็ด spicy อาหารไทยส่วนมากมีรสเผ็ด Most of Thai food is spicy เปรี้ยว sour มะนาวมีรสเปรี้ยว Lime is sour And that's the end for today's weekly word If you have any comments or any questions please be sure to let us know and we'll see you in the next weekly words Bye Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning about something that you might not like. It's vegetables. m a n f a r a n g Potato. I think potato shouldn't be. I mean, in some way, it, it doesn't feel like it's a vegetable. ฉันชอบทานมันฝรั่งทอด I like eating fried potatoes. หัวหอม Onion. เวลาหั่นหัวหอมฉันมักจะน้ำตาไหล I I usually have tears when I cut the onion. มะเขือ eggplant. คนไทยชอบกินแกงใส่มะเขือ Thai people like to eat curry with eggplant. Well, not all Thai people. Um, yeah. พริกขี้หนู chili pepper. อาหารไทยจำนวนมากใส่พริกขี้หนู A lot of Thai food has chili pepper in it. And that makes it spicy. กระเทียม garlic. ว่ากันว่า Dracula กลัวกระเทียม They say that Dracula is afraid of garlic. Vampire in general. And that's the end for weekly words today. We'll see you in the next weekly words. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Thai weekly words with me.